Hey, what's up, you guys? This is me, Juanito, Juanito's Wrestling Vlog, and more. How are you guys doing? Well, today, tonight, whatever time you're watching this, I'm going to do a review on WWE WrestleMania 39 Sunday. Let's get started. The show starts with The Miz and Snoop Dogg hyping up WrestleMania 39 Sunday. In the first match of the night, Brock Lesnar defeats Omos. Yeah, this match was short as fuck. Omos did dominate Lesnar in the whole match, but... Yeah, the match ends with Brock Lesnar applying the F5 on Omos. One, two, three. Brock Lesnar did make Omos look strong, but yeah, nothing special to be honest. But yep, Brock Lesnar gets the W and defeats Omos. The next match of the night, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler defeat Shotzi, Natalia, Liv Morgan, and Raquel Rodriguez, and Sanjay Deville and Chelsea Green. Yeah, this is kind of bullshit because, okay... Ronda Rousey, if you see um, one of her arms, is taped up. She legitimately has an arm injury. She did, she did do shit in the match. She's the one that got the win. She's the one that, she didn't get the pin. She just did the submission. She did the arm bar, and she got the win for her and Shayna. So, yeah, that was some bullshit. But, yeah, to be honest, for me, this match wasn't that special. Like, I feel like the men's tag team federal forward match was way better. In the next match of the night, and this match was a fucking banger. Gunter defeats Drew McIntyre and Sheamus in a triple threat match to, ret to retain the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Man, this match was a banger. It was awesome. It was hard hitting. Like, these guys are going to beat the shit out of each other. Like, oh my god. These are, this is literally one of the greatest Intercontinental Championship matches of all time. Like, man, these guys, they literally delivered. Like, I'm not going to lie. My heart was for Drew McIntyre. But, hey, Gunter is doing uh, an amazing job as IC champion. So, yeah. So, yeah. Gunter gets the win. Pinning. Drew McIntyre. In the next match of the night, Bianca Belair defeats Asuka to retain the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah, this had a weak ass build up, but the match was pretty decent. I cannot complain. I thought Asuka was going to win, but nah. Bianca, she got the W. It was fun, but for me, Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley was way better, to be honest. Okay, The Miz announces the WrestleMania 39 attendance, which tonight's attendance was 81,395. Shane McMahon returns. I shit you not. <laughs> Shane McMahon versus The Miz started, but Shane looks like he legitimately hurt himself, so Snoop Dogg got in the ring and punched The Miz and then applied the people's elbow. He proceeds to pin The Miz and wins a random ass match. I shit you not, that's what happened. Supposedly, Shipman Man tore his, his quad. Damn. You return after 14 months and you get injured. Damn, Shane. I guess that's karma for doing a, a crappy ass Royal Rumble match last year. I mean, I'm not happy he's injured, but that, that's what I'm thinking, to be honest. I'm not the only one who says it. But yeah, this was just utter bullshit. I didn't even know why it happened. Like, to be honest, I wish I could just erase that moment out of, out of my head. Edge defeats the Demon King Finn Balor in a Hell in a Cell match. At first, this match started off slow. Then the tone changed. And Edge, he threw the ladder to Finn. And he's... Like, okay, Finn, he tried to protect himself, but, yeah, one of the steps, it hit his head, so he was busted open. So they stopped the match for, like, I think for, like, almost a minute and a half. But, man, like, imagine, I watched it in my buddy's house, and we were fucking desperate, like, seriously. And everyone was just booing the fuck out of that, because this is, like, continue the match. If he's not concussed, continue the match. So... Yeah, after that, you know, the match tone changed. Man, Finn Balor, he did a really great coup de gras. Edge was on the table. 
Um, you could tell that was put there for that spot. Um, Finn, he climbed the cage. He was on top of this uh, metal step. He jumped. You could tell it was put for that. He jumped hit the coup de gras. He missed. Edge did the spear. Nothing. Edge grabbed two chairs. He did the Kerchato. One, two, three. Edge wins the Hell in a Cell match and beats the Demon King Finn Balor. WWE presents the WWE Hall of Fame Class of 2023. In the main event of the night, Roman Reigns defeats Cody Rhodes to retain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. I know a lot of you fans are mad that Cody didn't win, but you gotta admit, this match was really fun. It was fun. It was a banger. You know, for being... This is literally the first time in a long time that Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes have a match one-on-one. And it, it was a banger. It was fun, you know. A lot of false finishes. There was a lot of interference by Spell Sokoa. The Usos. Um, the referee got knocked out. Kevin on Sami Zayn. They came to even the odds. They even attacked Roman Reigns so Cody could get the win. Yeah, there's a lot of interference. A lot of false finishes. Um, the match ends when the ref was there looking because he was paying attention to Paul Heyman. Solo... He got it he earlier in the match he got um ejected out of the ring of ringside but he came back he did the Samoa spike and yeah Roman he spears Cody one two three but this match was amazing I'm not gonna lie as a Roman fan I'm happy I know you guys want Roman to lose but trust me Roman is gonna lose the WWE title trust me they want Roman to hit 1000 days trust me they want to hit 1,000 days as Universal Champion. But he will lose the WWE title. Don't be surprised if he loses it in Backlash. Don't be surprised. But he is going to lose. But this main event was amazing. It was amazing. Cody Rhodes, for being his first WrestleMania main event, he did so well. So well. Cody Rhodes is definitely going to be world champion in WWE. Like, it is bound to happen. Okay. Yeah, we did not get no Bobby Lashley versus nobody whatsoever. Bobby Lashley, he just came out earlier that night. They presented him as the 2023 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner, and that's it. That's it. Like, you know, you couldn't give us Lashley versus LA Knight or anyone, anyone, Dolph Ziggler, Ali, anyone. Like, that was pretty dumb. Uh, yeah, to be honest... I felt like night one was better. I felt night two was way too rush. That's my opinion. I know a lot of you fans felt that. The best matches for me was the IC title match, um, the Hell in a Cell match, and the main event. The rest of the matches, I, I, I could care less. But for me, night one was better. And this is the third time in a year that night one is better. It's like I told my friend. If this continues that way, in my opinion, they should go back to night to night. Sorry, let me correct myself. Sorry. If they continue like this, they should just do one night again. I don't know. I, I felt like this year, last year in 30 in 37, night one was just way better. Like I don't know why. But yeah. Crazy, but yeah, once again. If they feel like doing two nights is too much, they should just go back to one night. That's just my honest, humble opinion. But yeah. Out of a 10, I am going to give this event a 7.75. So, yeah, that'll be all. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time you're watching this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that'll be all. Goodbye. Take care. God bless you.